Um, okay, Lorax. Everything was smushed together in this show. Everything was smushed together. Horton was there, Gertrude was there, Maisie was here. The only thing that was not smushed together and was the same from beginning to end was this book, which remains the most perfect telling of this story in musical form. The beginning choral number. You know, Very Warm for May, All the Things You Are is a brilliant choral number if you've ever heard it. Um, the yums behind God That's Good and Sweeney Todd. Yum, yum. Take away everything else and just listen to the yums. Brilliant choral number. The, the quartet of Kiss Me and Sweeney Todd. Again, brilliant. This is, is up there. Um, uh, Doug Besterman's court, uh, um, string quartet uh, orchestrations. Brilliant. You're not going to hear that tonight because it's only me. Um, I was the one slur. Alice Platon, God rest her soul, was the Lorax. So here's the, here's the song. Here we go. Hello? What is this place?
small shop. Then I chopped down a truffula tree with one chop. Chop! And with skillful skill and needy need, I took the tuft and knitted a fneed. The instant I did it, I heard a gazump. I looked. I saw something jump out of the stump of the tree I chopped down. It was sort of a man. Describe him? Eh, that's hard. I don't know if I can. He was shortish and oldish and brownish and mossy. And he spoke with a voice that was sharpish and bossy. Mister, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. And since trees have no tongues, I am asking you, please, you can't go around killing trees willy-nilly to make things so ugly and useless and silly. Lorax, I said, <laughs> there's no cause for alarm. I chopped just one tree. I'm doing no harm. I am being quite useful. This thing is a thneed. A thneed's to find something that all people need. It's a shirt, it's a sock, it's a glove, it's a hat, but it has other uses far beyond that. You can use it for carpets, for pillows, for sheets. Or curtains, or colors for bicycle sheets. Mister, he said, you are crazy with greed. There's no one on earth that would buy that fool need. But the very next minute, I proved him that he's wrong. For the very next minute, a chap came along, and he thought that the need that I needed was great, and he happily bought it for $3.98. Ka-ching! You see, Mr. Lorax, a poor stupid guy, you never can tell what some people will buy. I repeat, I repeat, sir, I speak for the trees. I'm busy, so Lorax, shut up, if you please. Chug, 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 trees to the ground. There's not enough truffula fruit to go round. They love living here, but I can't let them stay. Good luck, boys, he said, and he sent them away. And I, the onceler, looked sad as I saw them all go. But business is business, and business must grow! Chop, 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 nip, 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 clean! Chop, 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 nip, 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 clean! himself and took leave of this mess. 
leaving one single word on that rock pile. Long, long ago, but now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. So, catch. It's a truffula seed, the last one of all, the last one to grow on the last tree to fall. Go home, plant the seed, treat it with care, give it fresh water and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest, protect it for as long as it stays. small you are now, the future's in your hands.